right so now let us see a new question guys this is the question to count all uppercase characters right all uppercase characters but we will see one more question to count only vowels in the given string only vowels counting the only vowels in the given string right so the question is write a program write a program to count to count all vowels all okay all vowels are vowels in the in the given given string we want to count all vowels right for example let's take a string here let's take now uh, suppose guys right python python arena is there right so in this string in this string i want to count all vowels only like same same like in the previous cases from first to last from first to last we get every character we get every character and check it is it vowel or not if it is vowel we increase the count value same here also we take the one count value zero right now so if anything is vowel at that time increase the increase the count value only for vowels uh, we increase the count value if it is a consonant if it is a space uh, or anything else the count value we don't increase okay i love you right so on this page is let us see one example let's see one example i take the input data from user input data from user enter any string enter any string into one variable uh, something st let's take the string let's take the string uh, right suppose let's take the python arena guys right python arena so in this case same we take the count value zero right count value zero now from the string uh, from the string we'll take one by one one by one and check it uh, is it vowel or not is it vowel or not okay so what do i do here i take the some vowels uh, we take the vowels right we know what are the vowels a e i o u i take the vowels now i take one by one from here i will check it uh, whether it is available in this vowels or not if uh, it is available in this vowels then i increase the count value if the character is not available in this vowels uh, i don't increase the count value okay simple first fetch one by one for i in st for i in st now at first time i value coming here the first time i value coming here p from the above given string p right that p i am going to check whether it is available in this vowels or not how to check there so if that i in in v that i in v that i right what is i value p p in vowels p in vowels is it available not available then uh, we don't increase the count value suppose if it is available let's take the o next o is coming right so i value o now o in vowels uh, o in uh, vowels yes it is true available at that time what to do here same uh, increase the count value by 1 right so take all from beginning to ending one by one after all over then the final count i am going to display the final count we uh, are going to display here right the same like uh, last three examples guys same counting uh, last like last three examples right now i run this one here and uh, in this case i am giving let's suppose python narayana how many are there there are five vowels right so here o is there and here a again a a is there a is there there are five vowels uh, that's why it is paying the count five so in this case i have taken the all vowels in the lower case right for example if i give the if i give the name uh, suppose right uh, python i am giving the name python right uh, narayana in this case uh, what is the count uh, the count will be zero even though vowels are there vowels are there vowels are there but it's showing the count to zero count to zero why because 
in the given string all upper case characters are there upper case vowels are there but i am checking with the only lower case vowels lower case vowels that's why so now suppose here red cap low is there i value cap low uh, cap low is not available here that's why the count is not increasing next cap a is coming next one cap a is coming for example uh, so cap a in vowels is not there means if is false again count not increasing like that always if is false so count will not increase that's why the same count value zero is displaying now i want to count either upper case vowels or lower case vowels at that time we can take uh, like this also a e i o u i specified uh, all lower case and upper case vowels right now this o can be lower case o or upper case o because here both are available then compulsorily the count increase here a can be lower case or upper case no problem because uh, you are taking the lower case a upper case a the count will be increase now let me try i take the same string to all capital letters all capital letters yes you can see the count is five you can take either lower case of characters or upper case characters now it will count this is the one way like taking the both upper case lower case uh, vowels or otherwise what to do here what to do now so the i value can be either lower case o or upper case o right it can be anyone it can be anyone right so at that time what to do here we have own lower case right own lower case is there that's why this i i am going to convert into lower case that i i i am taking into lower case then check me here suppose imagine here capital o is there for example right capital o is there python capital o okay now what is the i value capital o capital o dot lower means it becomes a small o lower case o that lower case o is available here is available here then the count will increase next one for example here cap a is there a right cap a is there what is a value cap a cap a dot lower so it becomes a small a the cap becomes small a now small a is available already so again the count will increase means sir so in the given string we can have the upper case or lower case what i am doing here i am fetching one by one and each one i am taking to lower case and i am checking whether available or not available i am taking into everything in the lower case because the vowels are taken in the lower case vowels okay it is also we can use rights it is also possible means before checking uh, i am converting to lower first of all then i am checking there right so i can take here uh, python okay python then capital a all of right observe observe here right all of observe like this i am taking uh, in this case both the upper case lower case uh, okay vowels are there right now check ones here we have the five characters means every character taking one by one one by one and every character convert into lower case of converting by checking in the v in the vowels uh, it's available or not available if available increase the count value that's all so this is the way uh, one of the ways uh, uh, how to count only vowels in the given string right yes thank you so much all of you we'll see in the next class with the next example thank you guys bye